Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 10 server. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on how to rack your server. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 10 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's hop in. Now, this video is gonna be specifically focused on how to rack your server, which is actually a little bit more complicated than it should be. Um, unfortunately, uh, with HP, uh, the rails are not the same across all the 360 Gen 10 servers. It depends on your form factor. So if you have a large form factor chassis or if you have a small form factor chassis. So the large form factor, when you think about it, the drives themselves are just a little bit longer than the uh, small form factor 2.5 inch drives. So for that reason, HP didn't um, basically make a buffer into the chassis and made the chassis as compact as possible. So the large form factor chassis are just a little bit longer. Well, on the flip side, they didn't also make a rail that's compact compatible with both. So there are literally different rails for the two different types of chassis. So it's very, very important to note that uh, you have the right rails uh, when you're buying because you can end up with a situation that's not going to be fun where you end up having to overnight rails. And to be quite honest, they're heavy and they're large and they're not cheap to overnight. Um, so it's not a situation you want to run into, especially if you have a client who's waiting on a server or a server is down and you need to get it back up uh, and you just need your rails. It's just uh, a silly situation to run into. To, uh, but it's something I always like to note and to emphasize uh, because the HP rails are different. And if you're curious what the difference is, uh, it's actually uh, kind of an interesting one. The inners are the same, the outers are the same, and then you go, wait, the inners and the outers are the same. Well, the middles are a little bit different. So this middle part right here, which is a piece of the inner technically, is actually different for the large form factor versus the small form factor. That's the difference. So, all right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to actually put the inners on first, and then we're going to drop the outers to the rack and then uh, put it all together. So we'll show you how to do that right now. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna grab our right inner and we're gonna put the right inner on before we put the outers on. So we're gonna line up uh, the holes with the four rivets. So we're simply just gonna push them into place. And then once we have them all lined up, uh, I'm gonna slide it back and snap it in like that. And now the inner is in. So I'll go ahead and I'll do uh, the next inner off screen, uh, just not to waste any time, and then show you how to actually put it into the rack. All right, so now what we're gonna show you how to do is to put the outers on. So what we're gonna start is it's the front left, so we're on the left side. So there's two little prongs right here that essentially we are going to line up on number eight and just click them into place. The other thing I wanted to note is when you want to remove this, uh, of course you have to take the server out first. There will be a button right here that says push and I'll, I'll demonstrate that in a minute. That's how you actually remove the rail. So, all right, Angel, we're gonna go ahead and do number uh, eight. And it's definitely much easier with two people, uh, just a much simpler process overall. So, all right, so we're gonna line up number eight and then just click it into place. And it'll literally just lock into place. You'll hear it click. So right now, if I were to shake it, it is firmly in there and I cannot take it out. Now, if I wanted to take it out, again, you just push this button right here. And when you push it, it will release it. And now I can take the actual rail back out. Okay, so I'll go ahead and line this back up click it into place. And now what we're gonna do is show you the right rail. All right, so now we're gonna do the right side. So same deal, we're gonna line the two rivets up on eight again, Angel. I really shouldn't call them rivets, but the two uh, pins or two prongs that stick out. So they just click into place and they lock in. And again, if I wanted to remove it, you just push this button right here and that will actually release it. And again, I'll just lock it right back into place and it's firmly in there. So now what we'll do is uh, that the, since we put the inners on the server already, we'll take the server and be able to just to slide it right in. And that's how you do it. All right, so now what you need to do is you just slide the inners out and they're gonna lock into place. And uh, Angel, go ahead and show right here this piece, not this piece, but this piece right here, we're gonna slide these in here. So let's just go ahead and line them up. All right, so now we got them on both sides. We will just slide this back and push this all the way in and it will lock into place. 
So it's just that easy. That's how you rack your server. Now, if you wanted to pull it out, you just pull these two tabs down and this will unlock it and then you can slide it back out. So that's how you would be able to take it in and out as a whole. And uh, hey, if you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built HPE, Dell, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business. Please email us at sales at cloudengine.com. That's sales at cloudengine.com. Thanks for stopping by. Take care, guys.